And turning to news from the art world now, Christie's wrapped up its second auction in China on Saturday evening. And more than 60 world-class paintings, including Pablo Picasso's Tete de Femme, were on the block in Shanghai. Now, a year ago, Christie's became the first international fine art auction to be licensed to operate independently on the Chinese mainland. ICS reporter Zhang Yingbin was at the auction. Although Picasso is the best-known artist whose works were at forbid, his 1964 Tet the Farm ended up with no new offers tonight at the auction in downtown Shanghai. It sold for 9 million yuan to someone who had placed a bid before the auction. One Italian bidder said it may have happened because the reserve price was too high, and the people can find similar Picasso works for less in Europe. There wasn't a big choice. There was only one Picasso. So, uh, uh, so uh, I guess uh, maybe in the future there will be more interest. Uh, uh, I personally, I love Chinese art, uh, so I would only buy Chinese art. Uh. In fact, more than 80 percent of the paintings at the auction come from Chinese artists, like Wang Yidong's A Moment's Reflection. But the highest bid went for the late American artist Andy Warhol's self-portrait with skeleton arm and Madonna, which sold for 10 million yuan. Shanghai's free trade zone has reduced or eliminated the taxes on artwork sold at auction here, something many bidders welcome. It's definitely a good thing. Before I had to go to Hong Kong to bid, and I was concerned about transporting the goods. Now we can do it here in the zone. It will save a lot of costs. And a visiting American artist says the Chinese art market is growing. There's a whole new breed of collectors coming along. Collectors today that didn't exist yesterday. And I'm getting to meet some of them here today as well. China was the second largest market in the world for art and antiques in 2012, with sales of nearly 14 billion U.S. dollars. Zhang Yiben, ISIS for CCTV, Shanghai.